It's almost as hard to find Pine Valley as it is to play it. The number one golf course in America, as ranked by Golf Digest, is not on the cliffs of Pebble Beach or off the fashionable shores of the Hamptons. It's in southwest New Jersey, off the interstate. You head to the Clementon Amusement Park and take a left. Those railroad tracks on your right are reminiscent of how George Crump, the founder and amateur architect, discovered the prehistoric terrain on the way to Atlantic City. It was his vision that became and remains Pine Valley. This is Every Hole at Pine Valley. The first is a majestic opener, classic risk reward off the tee with a sandy hazard on the turn that reaches out and grabs a fade. It sets up an approach shot that must be straight and hole high, left, right, or long, and you may be happy to make a double bogey. The second is the longest, most treacherous 368 yards in golf. Church pew bunkers run up both sides of the fairway to a rising hill with a lunar scape of sand pits. You can only see the top of the flagstick. The green is even more perilous. A missed shot is a death sentence. As the members say, welcome to Pine Valley. The par threes here have been called the best set of short holes in the world. Here's the third. 198 yards from the tips over the gnarliest topography to a skull-shaped green. Jay Sigel once seven-putted it in the Crump Cup. Four is the longest par four on the course at 499 yards, half of it a blind carry off the tee, trundling over a hill but short of cross bunkers to an immense green that runs away from you. Keep in mind the clubhouse is in play. Every tee shot presents a new challenge, and the most difficult might be at number five, the Frankenstein of par threes. Gene Littler made a newspaper seven on this hole in a match against Byron Nelson for the first episode of Shell's Wonderful World of Golf, which comes as no surprise to any golfer who misses it right. The new complex of bunkers set into the hill left of the green is where many players hit it today. From there, they skull it over in Littler territory before picking it up for their own Newspaper 7. The new championship tee at number 6 restores the full value of its heroic cape design. On most of the holes, just a pretty good shot is of no use at all, Crump said. He wanted a course that would test the best players to their limit and make them better. The seventh is the longest hole in the course, 636 yards from the back with Hell's Half Acre, the hazard, at its midpoint. You might say there are no bunkers at Pine Valley. Pine Valley is one big bunker with occasional patches of grass. There also are no rakes at Pine Valley. Golfers are asked to smooth their deepest footprints, but otherwise the sand is left to be tended by wind and rain. It's right about now you notice the water tower, decorated as a Dutch-inspired windmill. Today it doubles as a halfway house for beverages and snacks, and a handful of ibuprofen. Tom Watson's favorite hole is the eighth, stretching only to 326 yards, with two greens. The wedge approach, side hill, downhill, off a thin lie, to an uphill spit of slopey green with a false front, is wicked. Often overlooked are the greens, massive on some holes, postage stamps on others, frozen waves, rumpled blankets, elephant burial grounds, impossible to read without advice from the club's famously quirky caddies. The aim of a putt may be 90 degrees from a straight line to the hole. Green speeds reach scary fast at tournament time, as quick as 12 to 13 on the stimp meter. The 458-yard ninth has two greens as well. A recent renovation here returns the left to an infinity green with only sky behind it, making the approach even more intimidating. The most recent Fazio changes throughout the course involve tree removal, opening up the visuals, and exposing more sand. Tees were moved back, holes got harder, George Crump's vision endured. Then there's the hole we've been waiting for the short tenth. Only 142 yards from the middle tee, a bowl of Briar's ice cream. But wait, what is that darkened aperture short right? It's the bottomless pit, known inelegantly throughout the golfing world as the devil's asshole. 
No golfer has ever walked past it without stopping to stare into its gravitational pull. It's said Pine Valley is the only course in the world with 18 great holes, not an indifferent one among them. Each is a separate masterpiece, like the lovely 11th here, framed apart from all the others, a snowman waiting to happen. And upon playing the course only once, you can remember every hole distinctly. The 12th hole is a drive and pitch, but most golfers can't help themselves from taking too aggressive a line off the tee. Hit it anywhere but left, and Pine Valley might yield its easiest birdie. There have even been a few holes in one on this par four, one by a caddy. Pine Valley blends all three schools of golf design, heroic, penal, and strategic, over the whole course, often on a single hole. For rugged grandeur, 13 may be the best of the best. 486 yards, first to a perched landing area on the right, then a long second sweeping left with death or glory at hand. Today it takes me three to get on in two. 14 on any other course likely would be its signature hole, but just one of 18 at Pine Valley. From a complex of elevated tees, it plays downhill over a beach bunker to an island green. When you walk off, invariably there's a call of four as incoming balls bomb the 15th tee from behind. The bridge there is a famous one. Legend has it that Bobby Jones in 1930 came to Pine Valley to practice for the final leg of the Grand Slam at Marion. He was in a slump until this hole. When he set foot off the bridge, he said it was magically as if a weight had been lifted from his shoulders. The slump was over and he went on to win the amateur and golf's only Grand Slam. It might have been 15 that the other Jones, Robert Trent, had in mind when he called Pine Valley the most difficult course in the world. For most of us, this par 5 requires four full shots and a putt. Is it unfair at times? Maybe so. But isn't that the ultimate test? Can a player hit a good shot only to be crushed by a horrific result, then still find it within him or herself to rise to the occasion of the next one? Where to aim your tee shot on 16 decides your fate. Pine Valley will not be for the novice or the timid player, said Tillinghast a member. George C. Thomas said Pine Valley's charm is the thrill of surmounting its varied hardships. Countered Bernard Darwin, the right of eternal punishment should be reserved for a higher authority. The round nears the end with a delicate dogleg right, the 17th, kind of a sister hole to the second. Make sure your drive is on the short grass. The approach is uphill over craters of bunkers, and you want to keep your putt below the hole to have any chance. Then a brute of a finish, arguably the finest 18th hole anywhere. The tee shot is elevated, a long carry from the back. The second shot is over sand and water and sand again, upward to the home green, where golfers, bloodied and bowed, doff their caps and shake hands. The round is done repair to the clubhouse. I think there's a nobility to the place, owed in part to its scale, 600 plus acres. And if you haven't had enough, this men's club has a 10 hole short course and the best practice range in captivity. You will never forget it or any of its holes all the days of your life. Pine Valley, the greatest golf course in America. Mm -hmm.